shockingly, this is my 13th Algarve Cup, two kids later, and times have changed a little bit. You know, I went from being the young kid, trying to get a little color, try to enjoy the soccer, to being a mom, being a captain, being a role model, and now trying to stay out of the sun, no wrinkles, you know, and just <laughs> really enjoying the tournament. It's a good tournament. It's a great tournament early on, kind of sets the tone for um, the year and kind of see where we're at. You know, I think we're at a, a place where it's our coming to our first tournament. It's just almost kind of replicates Olympic World Cup where it's game day off game, two days off. So it's, it's a good rhythm to see how many games we can play um, at a good high level. You know, the, the competition's getting better. You know, this year we're playing Sweden, Japan, Denmark, you know, in the first three games, hoping to make it to the final. It's also a good experience, you know, for Tom too, as a new coach coming into this environment. So I've played so many roles throughout my career here at the Algarve. So I started with trying to just get a few minutes in four games and, and watching and learning to then becoming a starter and trying to be consistent. Now it's a little bit of a, a mental game for me with a physical game, but you know, it's only making the team stronger and better. And you know, he needs to see everybody to see who I'd say best clicks, you know, at this level because it's the best 11 that works together, not necessarily the best 11 players on the field. Yeah, see, off the field, big transition from, like I said, being that young player, eyes wide open to, you know, Sobs and I probably talking about, like, how much sleep did you get last night? You know, and of course, good old Lil with Riley. That was a long time ago. Yeah, look at these photos, oh my gosh. Just a peanut, so I wasn't getting much sleep, but I was young, could handle it. Oh, look at this one. Does someone else? Moms and mom to be any day now, so I miss my partner in crime. And then, uh, was this Mitzi's 100th cap? So just a lot of good memories, a lot of accomplishments here at the Algarve. A lot of different players have gone through, and of course, our favorite when we come here, Indian. You know, it's crazy because I probably only eat Indian food when I'm in Portugal. <laughs> but it is good, and it's good times. But it's there's so much fun stuff off the field, like I said, from enjoying the beach to the restaurants we go to out after games to, you know, just playing games. We have so much quality time together, you know, that you got to make it work. The first week is, is tough, I'm not going to lie. It's getting adjusted to the time, the food you know, waking up in the middle of the night. So it's bonding over having a cup of coffee and sitting at the, you know, the breakfast lunch table for two hours, just reminiscing, going over things. And then leading up to the games, that's when it starts to get serious, which is the good part of, then we're discussing the game and talking the game and, you know, finding out, you know, people's strengths and weaknesses and how they see the game. So that was, it's always fun to, to kind of just sit there and, and talk. And you learn so much about players, especially, for me being an older player, sitting and chatting with one of the younger players and vice versa. You know, you get to know somebody more because there isn't distractions. It's, it's been nice. I mean, we've, over the years, we've gone on a few boat trips and seen the coast and it's been nice to just take in, in the coloring of the rocks and the, the buildings is, is absolutely gorgeous. So it's, uh, it's very different, um, but it, at the same time, it's very peaceful and, you know, it's, there's not a lot of distraction here. So you can really focus on what you want to do. It's always about the mentality and you know, knowing that when you're challenging yourself to come into the tournament and knowing that we're really going to win and you do, it's a great accomplishment and I think it sets the tone for the year.